you. Hey, hey, no, no, no. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, just, just. No, nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing. I'm, hey, hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to scare you. I just. Nothing. I was. I was sleeping. I was lying in bed, and I, I heard somebody doing stuff out here, and it, I just. It kind of freaked me out, and I, I came out. Yeah. Yeah. With. With my bat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm really sorry. Hold on. Okay, wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it down, okay? I'm gonna put it down. I'm sorry, I'm just not, I'm not used to hearing anybody out here, and I, like I said, I, I heard something and I just kind of woke up and reacted, I just, yeah, kind of, I, I kind of thought somebody broke in and just, I know, I know, I know, it's like pretty much impossible for anybody to break in here. It's just, I don't know, it's just a reaction. It's just... No, no, it's... Something... Something happened to me a long time ago, and it's just... Uh, I'm a very, very light sleeper, so... And like I said, I'm not... I'm not used to hearing anything out here. I'm... I, look, I'm really sorry. You know what? I will. I will get used to. I'll get used to you. You know, being up and and doing things. I'm just it's the first night, and I'm just. I'm sorry. It wasn't the greatest thing, but I'll. I'll tell you about it later. Okay. We don't need to, we don't need to talk about that now. I'm just really sorry that I came out and freaked you out like that. Like I said, I mean, I, I will get used to you being here. Uh, and next time I wake up and I hear something, I'll remember and go, no, 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 it's, it's just you. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, what were you doing? Ah, okay. Well, you're kind of on the right track. I mean, you found the cups and the coffee is in here. And the coffee maker is here. And uh, the sugar is here. So you're good to go. You can, you can make coffee now. <laughs> No, no, I'll, I'll, some other time, you know, we'll, we'll talk about it another time. Um, you're up early. Did you, did you have trouble sleeping? Oh, okay. So you, you slept okay? Okay, good, good. No, I'm usually up pretty early too. No, I think I'm going to stay up. I have to, uh, I actually have to go into the office and actually semi, semi soon. I have this big meeting today that I have to be at and I just kind of want some time to get everything ready and chill out at the office. So I was thinking about getting up early anyway and, and going in. Well, it's, it's a pretty important meeting, so normally I try to blow them off if I can. <laughs> I try not to uh, spend too much time in meetings. I mean, my, uh, my assistant takes care of a lot of things for me, but this particular one, there's going to be some important people there, so I kind of need to be there, so I'm going to go in and get ready 
to be Mr. Presentable. <sighs> Sorry? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> Actually, um, no. Uh, you technically couldn't get in and out of here after I go. Uh, but we can fix that. I'm glad you did think about that because I wouldn't have and then you'd be calling me going uh, how do I get out of here <laughs> I'd have to get Lloyd to come up and let you out but no we can uh, we can we can take care of that and as a matter of fact before I was going to leave today I wanted to walk you through a few things just so you know <laughs> what's going on in here because uh, there are a few things that you need to know and uh, one of them is I have to introduce you to somebody yes I have to introduce you to Aria Aria looks after a lot of the things in this place well I do live here by myself, sort of, but I have a little bit of help. Here, follow me for a second. Come on. Now, you don't necessarily have to use this because you can just use voice commands too, but this is kind of like the central hub of everything. Um, let me demonstrate. Good morning, Aria. I'm well, thank you. How are you? Good. I have a guest, and I want to walk her through a few of the things that you do. Would that be all right? Okay. This looks like a big touchscreen pad, and it is. And what it does is it controls a lot of the functions in this entire place. For example, if you hit it on, okay, hold on. As per usual, it wants my fingerprint. So I press right here, and boom, I'm in. If you look at all of these things, like this one, for example, if, you know, by chance you wanted to go for a swim today, well, right here you will see pool temperature. So you hit that and you can raise it up or down depending on what you want. Or if you're not near the panel, you can just say, Aria, can you adjust the pool temperature? set it for 78 degrees thank you Aria you always have to say thank you or she gets upset <laughs> not really but now you try it I don't know just ask her to dim the lights just say Aria could you dim the lights please That's right, she's not answering you because she doesn't recognize your voice. So that means we need to set you up so that she does know who you are and she will recognize your command. So let's set that up. Aria, I have a new voice I need you to learn. Okay, this is a guest of mine. Okay. Now you say, hello, Aria, and then tell her your name. Okay, good. Now she wants you to repeat it because she needs to hear this a few times before she will fully recognize your voice. So do it once more. Okay, one more time. Do it once more. Okay, now say hello, Aria. 
There you go. She knows who you are now. So basically anything you want to do in here, you can ask her to do it. For example, if you want to go watch a movie in the theater room, you can ask her to set up whatever movie you like. There's even a popcorn maker in there, and she will even start making you popcorn if you ask her nicely. <laughs> and that goes with the blinds, the heat, the air conditioning, the pool. Uh, she can, you know, preheat the oven for you. <laughs> she could do what pretty much anything that you want done in here to a point, she can do it. If you want to go have a sauna, you Yes, there's a sauna in here. <laughs> there's also a full gym. So any of these things that you want to use, you can just ask Aria to set it up. Now, as far as getting in and out of here goes, as you know, you need to use a fingerprint. And she does not know yours yet, so we need to set that up right now. Aria, I'm going to introduce a new fingerprint. Okay, now on the touch screen here, you see this little square lit up. So now you take your thumb and put it on there. Okay, well, okay, you have, no, you have to press it like a certain way because you're not getting all of it on there. Kind of. Okay, okay hold on, hold on. Give me your hand. Okay. Give me your thumb. And you just press it right on like this. And you just hold it there for a second. And then you have to lift it off. And we're just going to turn it a few ways so that she can get like a full reading on it. Okay, here. No, wait, here. I'm going to help you. Okay, so just take it and okay, roll it a bit this way. And then lift it up and put it this way. Okay, now this way. Your hand's very soft. <laughs> okay, now you, you see right here in the bottom, it says 85%. So she's almost got it all, so we're just going to keep doing it. A little more. Okay, and one more this way. There you go. Fingerprint accepted. Um, level one clearance, please, Aria. Level one means you have control over most of the functions in here and you have access to get in and out. There are a lot of higher level things that you don't have access for, but you don't really need those because they're just a lot of things to do with my business and that sort of thing. But for the most part, you have control over all of the things that you're going to need in here. And if you need to get in and out, you just walk over to the elevator like I did, put your thumb on it, and the elevator will show up, open, and you can go in and out. <laughs> what about Lloyd? <laughs> well, Lloyd has the same panel downstairs, so... If, for whatever reason, Lloyd went senile and didn't remember who you were, all you would have to do is walk up and put your thumbprint on the panel he has, and it will recognize you and you'll get clearance. Uh, were you planning on going anywhere today? Well, no. <laughs> Actually, no. You, you don't have to go to work. No, you don't even need to explain anything to my uncle. Okay, I hope I wasn't overstepping, but I called him last night. I did. I told him you weren't going to be working there anymore. He was fine. I told him you were going to be working for me. So that means, uh, basically, you can hang around here and do whatever you want all day. 
you can go for a swim, you can go for a sauna, you can watch movies, you can listen to tunes, you can dance like a crazy girl in the middle of this huge room with the tunes just blasting. Area can put on any song that you want. <laughs> exactly. When's the last time you got to do that? When's the last time you could just relax and do whatever you want all day? Well then, why don't you make this that day? Oh. Okay, I'll tell you what. Can you do me a favor and I'll go with you to get your stuff? Because I don't want you going there by yourself. I know you used to do it all the time. And it used to really bother me. Trust me, I remember that place. It's such a shithole. And there's so many, like, seedy people around there. Please, just do me a favor, okay? We'll go get your stuff. But let me go with you. Okay? Please? Alright, thank you. Can you do me one more favor? If you do decide to go anywhere, can you let me know? I don't know. I'm a bit of a worrier. <laughs> you know, if I call here or I come back home and you're not here, I'm probably going to worry, wondering where you are and that sort of thing. I mean, I know it's, it's silly, you know, like, I mean, but it's just kind of what I'm like so if you could do that I'd really appreciate it well that's easy <laughs> just ask Aria to call me at the office and she'll ring me there okay you have fun like I said there's all of these toys here the pool's right there, and like I said, you can crank tunes as loud as you want and do whatever you want and go hang on the deck and make drinks, anything. Do what you want. And I probably won't be at the office that long, uh, like half a day or something like that, and then I'll be back. And then we can figure out what to do for dinner and that sort of thing. and. We'll just enjoy ourselves tonight. Sound good? Okay. If you want, sure, we can go today. Do you have a lot of stuff? Well, that'll be easy. One box we can easily swing. Okay. I'm going to go get dressed, and then I have to head into the office. All right. You enjoy yourself today. That right there just made me so happy. Your smile. I haven't seen you smile like that. I'm glad I give you a reason to smile. You give me lots of reasons to smile. Okay, oh shit, shit. Okay, I have to get going. I'm going to go get dressed and then I'm going to head into the office. All right? Okay. I'll see you later today. Good morning, Beth. My father? 
several times. How many times has he called? You gotta be kidding. All right, look, if he calls back, tell him I'm in meetings or, you know, I'm taking a crap, whatever. Tell him anything. I don't want to deal with him right now. Fine, fair enough. Tell him whatever you want. I don't care. I just don't want to deal with him right now. Um, is Susan in yet? Okay. Can you tell her I need to see her right away? Okay, thank you. Come in. Morning, Susan. I'm well, thank you. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I didn't get uh, I didn't get the greatest sleep. I'm not used to a house guest. Yes, I did. Yes, she's staying with me. <laughs> with the smile. Well, thank you. I'm just trying to take care of her. I appreciate your confidence. Now, speaking of my house guest, there's a couple of things I wanted to talk to you about. Okay, well, number one, you have been my personal assistant for how long now? Mm. A year and a half is a long time to be basically tied to me. I was doing a lot of thinking last night, which is probably why, part of the reason why I didn't get a lot of sleep. I have a question for you. How do you feel about setting up a job for this girl? Your job. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Sort of. Sort of. You do so much for me. You do all the PR. You do my damage control. You take care of the media. You do so many things for me. But then on top of that, you're with me all the time. Because, as you know, I need somebody with me all the time to do things that I need done that I don't have time to do because I'm too busy worrying about all of this crap. So what I was thinking is you continue to do the PR, administrative side of your job, but you do it from home. Look, I know you've got a husband, you've got kids, and you spend an insane amount of time with me instead of them. So what I was thinking is, you work from home. I mean, obviously you'll have to come in here a couple of days a week, but generally you work from home. You could spend more time with them, but the catch is you have to bring her up to speed to do all of the things that you would do as my right hand. So she would be my personal assistant, but you would still do your job, but you would do it from home. I thought you might like that. <laughs> I can imagine you do spend a lot of time with me. I must be driving you nuts at this point. Yeah, maybe a little. I know, I know, I know. But really, like, what do you think about this? I forgot to mention, too, that it comes with a fairly exorbitant pay raise. Yes, I'm going to pay you more to stay at home. <laughs> 
you're still going to have to work. You're probably going to have to work harder because I'm going to dump a little bit more stuff on you, but you'll be doing it from home. But you need to bring her up to speed because I need her to be as good as you when it comes to looking after me. <laughs> You're right, that probably is impossible. Nobody could do this as well as you. But I have faith in you that you can get her really close. Can we do this? Why? What are we going to have to juggle? Well, don't worry about that. You let me handle that. Everybody will get used to it. Okay? Anybody I need to explain it to, I will. And anybody else can just screw off. I don't care. I want her to do this. I want her to have something to do that's going to pull her out of where she is. I want her to have a job of importance. And this seems like a great idea to me. Because then I could spend a lot of time with her. And, you know, she'll have something really worthwhile to do that will pay really well. Exactly. <laughs> Are you game? Can we do this? Okay. But you're going to have to train her. She has to be good. Okay. Well, I have an idea. How about if I give her a call now and I get her to come over here right now and you can meet her and you can start showing her around? Okay. All right. Okay, will you go get ready for the meeting and I will uh, give her a call and get her over here. Okay, I'll catch up to you in a bit. Hey, hi, <laughs> you found the bat phone, did you? <laughs> did she tell you? Yeah, well, this is like, <laughs> this is a direct from the office line, so. Look, um, I had an idea. I have an idea for a job for you. Well, I figured looking after my place isn't a real job and you're probably going to go like just totally crazy doing nothing. And there is an opening here. And it's a really good job. It's a hard job. It's not easy, but it pays really, really well. And it's a really good position if you're interested in it. Well, why don't you come here and I will talk to you about it. Well, that's easy. <laughs> I'm going to call Lloyd and I'm going to get him to bring the car around. The driver will bring you here. All you have to do is walk up to the elevator, do the thumbprint thing, and it'll take you down to the lobby. And then just walk up to Lloyd. He will see you into the car and the driver will bring you here. How long do you need? Okay. I'll tell Lloyd 20 minutes. All right. <laughs> you sound excited. Good, good. I think you'll like it. Okay, you get ready. Get down to the lobby. I'll tell Lloyd you'll be ready in like 15, 20 minutes. Okay, I'll see you in a bit.
Hello, Lloyd. I'm well. How are you? <laughs> Excellent. I know I can always count on you, Lloyd. Listen, do me a favor. Uh, bring the car around. I need a driver to take my guest here to the office. Yeah, she'll be down in about 15 or 20 minutes. Very good. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. No, no, wait, 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 wait. I got, no, I have everything. I have everything. Okay. All right, let's go. See? You were all worried. I told you I'd sell them on all this. I know I'm good. That's why I pay me the big bucks. <laughs> exactly. Oh, hold on. Yes, Beth. Ah, send her in. Okay. You're going to meet her. Hi. Come on in. And close the door. This is Susan. Susan is my assistant, or should I say, was my assistant, because that is the job that I want you to take. Yes. Susan will bring you up to speed on everything. She's going to walk you through everything. She's going to make sure you're totally ready before you have to jump into the uh, lion's den, so to speak. But... Basically, you are going to be my right hand. You're going to be my personal assistant. And trust me, I will definitely have you working because as she will tell you, there's a lot of things that I need done <laughs> and that I need help with. And that's what you're going to do. And she is going to handle all of the damage control administrative stuff that she normally does. But now you are going to be my right hand. You don't have to be nervous. Don't worry. We're not just going to throw you into it. We're going to make sure you know everything that's going on before you get into all of this. So so right now, what Susan's going to do is she's going to take you on a little tour. She's going to walk you through the place, and she's going to bring you up to speed on all of the things that you're going to need to know. And in the meantime, I have a pile of stuff to go through that I got dumped in my lap from that meeting. So you two go do your thing. I'm going to do my thing here. And then you come back in a little while and you tell me what you think of all this. All right? Okay. Susan, show her the ropes. Bring her up to speed. I need her to be as good as you. <laughs> That's what you said before. But I have faith in her. She can do this. Okay, you two get out of here. I had a lot to do. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Yeah, right. Yes, Beth. Oh, put them through. Thank you. Uncle, how are you? I'm good. Heads up about what? You talk to my father on what? What did you let slip?
I would imagine that's why he's been calling me all morning. Yes, apparently he's called like five times. What exactly did you say? He knows her too, doesn't he? Yeah, knows of her. I didn't really think he would approve. Well, I don't really care. Yeah, I know he's not going to let this go. Oh, that's fine. I'll deal with him. It doesn't matter. No, I, I will call him at some point and I will deal with it. What's he calling you for? <sighs> Whatever. No, no, no. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It was going to come out anyway. No, it's fine. I will deal with it. Is everything good there? Good. You got a replacement? Okay, good. Excellent. No, not this week. <laughs> Things are about to get pretty crazy, so you're going to have to call Bill to uh, work the bar. <laughs> well, when I need a little break, then I'll come back and I'll do a couple of nights. But in the meantime, you're on your own. Yes, I'm deserting you again. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of a crazy day. Okay. Okay. Listen, thanks for the heads up, and don't worry about it. Like I said, it would have come out anyway, so just don't sweat it. Honestly, don't worry about it. Okay, I have to go. I'll talk to you later, okay, Uncle? All right. Bye-bye. This is all I need. Oh, shit. Yes, Beth. He's here. Don't tell him anything. Just send him in. Yes, send him in. Hello, Father. What a surprise. What do I think I'm doing? I'm working. No, I don't exactly know. So why don't you tell me what's on your mind? Have a seat. I'm not going to sit here and stare up at you. Would you sit down, please? What is it? What about this girl? Why do I have to get rid of her? She's going to bring me down, is she? No, I don't think so. Actually, I'm thinking maybe I'll bring her up a bit. Yes, I can be seen with her. What are my plans? I'm giving her a job. <laughs> no, not in the mail room. She's going to be my assistant. Yes. Like as in my personal assistant. Yes, everybody will see her with me. What is your point? What are you getting at here? She's a what? You watch, you watch your mouth, okay? Look. No, 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 wait. No, no, you listen. You listen. This is none of your business, 
Okay, it's none of your business who I associate with or who I have living with me or who I am with. It's none of your business. Really? How is it your business? Making the family look bad? Don't you do enough of that? Well, don't you dare talk to me like that. No, I do not have to get rid of this girl. She's not just trying to get at my money. She didn't even know I had any money when we met. Yeah, so what? So she does now. What did you just say? Don't you dare say anything about her. You shut your mouth. Most of the reason why she's dead now is because of you and all of the shit that you dragged her through. You are partially responsible for her death. I'm not being ridiculous. All right, you know what? Father, I've had enough of your shit. Okay, honestly. I mean, don't swear at you. I said shit. That's not necessarily even swearing. Look, I've had enough, okay? The girl is staying with me. She's going to work with me. She's going to be my assistant, whether you like it or not. And it's not going to do anything to your family name. She's not worthy of us? Why? Well, isn't that interesting? Because I seem to remember a point in time where you dumped me on my ass and took every dime away from me, and then I was poor. Mind you, you didn't want me hanging around the family then, did you? I guess I wasn't worthy either. But now here you are in my office because I have money? You're ridiculous. Right, right. Yeah, you already mentioned that. But you know what? No, she's not going to bring me down. And she's not going to smear my name. And she's not going to tarnish my company. And she's not going to tarnish the family name. So just stop. All right? Enough. I... Hi, ladies. Hey, how's it going? Susan, you remember my father? Yes. This is my father. Father, this is... Okay, okay, stop. You need to stop talking. Look, don't listen to a word he... Okay, all right, all right, enough, enough, enough. We already covered all this, okay? She is working for me, all right? She's going to be my assistant. She's going to do very well in this company, and she doesn't need this kind of talk from you on her not even first day. So just... Cool your jets, close your mouth. All right. What did you just call her? <laughs> you, you twisted, demented, senile piece of miserable shit. You get the fuck out of my office. If you ever speak to her like that again, I will smash every one of your false teeth down your throat and put you in intensive care. Don't you ever talk to her like that. I will let go of you when you get out of my office. I'm going to let go of you right now, and then you're going to get up and leave. Do you understand me? Just get out. Really? I'll take that chance. You just remember. Whatever you throw at me, I'll throw it right back. Yeah, you haven't heard the last of this either. Get out. Susan, can you leave us alone for a minute? Thank you. Hey, 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 look at me. Don't, don't listen to anything that he said, okay? 
No, 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 you are not going to bring me down. That's ridiculous. What you are going to do is you are going to be the most amazing assistant I have ever had. And you are going to do incredible in this company. Okay? You will know what you're doing. Okay? Look, I know this isn't even your first day. You just got here. Okay, you're going to learn the ropes. You're going to get comfortable with all of this. You're going to get used to everything. And before you know it, you're going to be the best damn assistant I ever had. Don't you worry about my father. I will take care of him. He's just being an idiot. This is the same guy who turfed me out on my ass. All right? He's a senile, twisted old bastard. I don't even like him. The only reason I even go to see him at all is at Christmas, and I only do that because of my mother. I don't like him. He's an asshole. He says shit like this all the time to whoever he wants, and the only one who ever calls him on it is me. Hey, don't worry about him, okay? I will take care of him. And you're going to take care of me. <laughs> hey, where's that smile? Look at where you are. You're going to work here. You're going to work for me. You're going to do really, really well. Now, did Susan give you a walk around? Okay, does it seem all that terrifying? I know, I know, it's a lot to take in, but we're not in any hurry, okay? We have lots of time. You just come in every day, you'll learn a little more, you'll get better at this, and before you know it, you're going to be a pro. Now, I got an idea. All of this paperwork I was going through, I can easily hit it tomorrow. I've already done the meeting which was the big thing I had to do today. So if you want, why don't we get out of here? And then we can talk about all the things you did today, and if you have any questions, you can ask me and that sort of thing. Come on. What do you want to do? Okay. Okay, we can do that. Let's go get your stuff. And then we'll bring it back to our place. And you can set your stuff up whichever way you want. And then we can order something to eat because I'm getting hungry. <laughs> okay, first, let's go get your stuff. I'm going to call down, get him to bring my car around, and then we'll go over to the apartment. Okay? All right. Okay. Is that everything? <laughs> you really don't have a lot of stuff, do you? Is it? Memories are important. Okay. You ready to get out of here? Okay, let's go. One last look. You gonna miss it? Yeah, I didn't think so. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go home. I'm glad we had dinner before we came here. <laughs> I was starving. Well, now we can just bring your stuff back and we can just chill out. Just relax till we finally pass out. Come on, let's get out of this dive. Let's go. I don't miss my apartment. <laughs> Funny how they kind of smell the same. Uh, 
well, I don't know. We can watch a movie or whatever. You can put your stuff where you want it. You can set your... Shit. Nothing. Nothing. Just keep walking. Yeah, I kind of know them. Just keep walking, okay? Don't say anything. Just... Hi there yourself. Just passing through, man. Well, we kind of like to pass through. Yeah. I remember you guys, too. Yep. That's me. Yeah, it did heal up pretty good, didn't it? Look, man, we're just going to cruise through, okay? Really? And what's your idea? Really? So you guys are like just going to have a good time with my girl while I watch, eh? Well, you guys know how to show a dude a good time. Really? Another one, eh? Going to lay another one on me? Cool, cool. Well, I kind of got a different idea in mind. Well, I think we're just going to go. Yeah, I really do. I think we're going to fucking... Fuck you, you fucking piece of fucking shit. Fuck you. Where are you going, fucking junior? Come on, man. What you? Oh, you chicken bitch. How do you like that? Are you fucking assholes? Your fucking buddy bails on you. you. Fucking piece of fucking shit. Both of you. Fuck you. Come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Go quick, quick. We need to go quick. I know we're outside, but if those two goons wake up and they decide to hit their cell phones, then there's going to be like 10 guys here in about three minutes, and we do not want to be here for that, so we need to go. Now, come on, get in the car. We're going to go. Come on, come on, get in. I don't see anybody. Okay, okay, we're good. Fine. Are you okay? Okay, okay. And this is why I didn't want you going there by yourself. Is it? Oh, shit. Hey, can you grab that shirt in the back? Okay, here, just, can you just wrap it around my hand? Okay, we'll, we'll fix it when we get home. No, it'll be okay till we get there. It's fine, it's fine. It won't take us long, okay? I'm fine. Are you okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, we're almost there. We'll be there soon. Okay, we're here. I'll get him to park the car. We'll go upstairs and we'll relax, okay? Okay, let's go. After you. <laughs> I got the box. I'm good. Hello, Lloyd. I just, I hit it on something. No, no, I wasn't in a fight. I just, I banged my hand off something. It's bleeding. I have to go fix it. Okay, 
Bonnie Lloyd, if you say so. The other guy looks way worse. Thank you, Lloyd. <sighs> Lloyd doesn't miss anything. Okay, come on. No, it's fine. It's fine. And we can clean it up when we get up there. It hurts a little bit. I don't know. I don't know what I hit on that one dude, but it was really hard. <laughs> I think it was his teeth. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Come on. Uh, okay. Now I can put your box down. <laughs> It's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's go look at it. Ow. Uh, I don't know what I have. <laughs> I know I have peroxide. Okay, well, we can wash it. Okay. Okay, hold on. I'll get a cloth, all right? All right. Hold on. can do it. Okay, you do it. <laughs> okay. Ow. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. I can, I can take it. <laughs> I know. It's a good fucking... It's a good gash. Huh? No, no, no. It doesn't need stitches. I'll just put... Lots of band-aids on it. <laughs> It'll be all right. No, it's fine. It's fine. It'll be okay. I have some, um, uh, uh, somewhere. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, here. Okay, I have gauze, but I'm really lousy at wrapping it around myself because I have to hold it with my teeth, so maybe you can do it. Thank you for looking after me. Well, that was kind of the idea of me going with you. Besides, those guys had that coming. What did they mean? About what? Ah, uh, well, I guess that's part of the story I didn't talk about this morning. The reason I might be a little twitchy in the middle of the night is because, as they said, we've met before. When I lived in the apartment across from your old one, they were dealing in that building, too. That's what they are. They're dealers. And there's a bunch of them. And I came home one night. And I was walking down the hallway, going towards my apartment. And they were there. And they had some girl up against the wall who looked really freaked out. And they were getting real handsy with her. And just giving her a real hard time. So, I got involved. And it's funny, because almost the same thing happened. I knocked the one dude out, and the other dude, I was really mad. I laid a beating on him. 
and there wasn't anybody else there was only the two of them and I didn't really think much of it after that I mean I made sure she got out of the building okay and I went to bed and I was really drunk so when I went to sleep I really went to sleep I mean I was out cold and in the middle of the night those two dudes along with two of their buddies they didn't have the third guy with them the guy who ran away tonight <laughs> but there was four of them and they just beat the shit out of me and I mean really beat the shit out of me to the point where I was in the hospital for two weeks so that's how I know them and that's why they made a crack about me healing up so well because I was pretty busted up so they only got a little piece of what I really wanted to give them but what I really wanted to do is get you out of there and I did and you're here and you're looking after my hand <laughs> so everything's good You look tired. It's been a long day. A lot going on. <laughs> your new job. Little action at your apartment. Little action first thing this morning. I promise things will mellow out a bit. <laughs> Except for your job. That might get a little hectic, but I think you're going to like it. Good. You want to go to sleep? Okay. No, I am too. No, I am not. <laughs> I'm done working for the day. No, I'm going to get into bed and pass out. Can I walk you home? Well, it's such a far way down the hall, so... <laughs> Thank you. I'd love to walk you home. Come on. Yeah, I kind of figured. We'll unpack your box tomorrow, and you can put your stuff wherever you want it. All right. I have seen you to your door, and now I will bid you good night. You too. You have a good sleep. It was great seeing you at my office today. It's great just seeing you here all the time. Have a good sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Sweet dreams. Okay. Good night. Susan, what are you doing up so late? No, no, I don't have the TV on. Why? All right. OK. 
Okay, it's on. What channel? You've got to be kidding. How the fuck did he get her picture? Wait a minute. Okay, wait. You're... You're kidding me. Okay, so... Obviously, my father's been calling favors. Fuck. Okay, so... They're gonna, like, just try to smear this girl or just embarrass the shit out of her till she just runs away and hides, like... Fuck. I knew he was going to do something sleazy. I didn't think he would do something this fucking sleazy. I agree. I agree. Okay, what time? Tomorrow morning. Okay, serious damage control. We're going to have to think. We got to think. Okay, let me think. No, that's that's good. Okay, that's good. That's good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm thinking, just give me a... <laughs> Susan, cancel that meeting tomorrow morning. We don't need a damage control meeting yet. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Now, no, we are not going to have a meeting tomorrow. We're going to give him two days. No, 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 no. We're going to give him two full days to run with this. Okay, wait a minute, wait. Criminal record? She has a criminal record? For what? It says robbery. Armed robbery? Shoplifting, for fuck's sakes. Well, considering how broke she was, it almost makes sense. Okay, well that's not so bad. I know, I know, I know, it's, it's still a record, I know. I know she's going to be my personal assistant. Yes, I know the ramifications to all of this. I, I understand. Just... That fucking prick. That old fucking prick. No, we're still going with my plan. We're going to give him two days. Why? Because I want to give him as much rope as he'll take. Because I'm going to fucking hang him. <sighs> there's a lot of things you don't know about my father. And there's a lot of things my father doesn't want other people to know. If he wants to play like this, I'll play ball with him. I'm going to fucking crucify him once and for all. Mm-hmm. I know exactly what I'm doing. Two days, Susan. I'm going to try to keep her away from TVs. Two days, and then we're going in. I'm going to nail that old son of a bitch to the cross. <laughs> I know you like it when I get like this. <laughs> you have a good night, Susan. I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>